All right, hello. Luckily, we can walk through this gate. Oh, there's an opening in the gate for wide enough for a pedestrian. And now we are in Indian Island County Park. I haven't been here for a very, very long time. And uh, this is basically on the Conic Bay. So uh, we're going to walk past some campgrounds and I got to pick up the trail. That's going to take us along the, the big uh, field water. here. So we're going to be heading on this path right here. It'll take us along the water. Yeah, it's already a warm day today. Whew. Luckily, this isn't too long of a walk. This would be about three miles from here. To We're going to go walking on this path and pray there aren't any flies. God, I hope there aren't any. There's barely any wind, which is not good. Flies love that when there's no wind. This is a mixed oak and pine forest. But when we get to an island, you'll see that it'll be mostly pines when we get to the island, actually. This is a mixed oak and pine area where that we're in right now. Yeah, it's barely a drop of wind out here. Yesterday would have been a better day to come here, but I thought there was going to be too many clouds. A little more wind yesterday. There are going to be some plenty of views of the bay here. Picked this area because it's by the water, so hopefully when we get closer to the water, there'll be a, a breeze. You can feel it already. And I haven't been here in a long, 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 long time. Yeah, we got some old pitch pines around here for sure. I gotta keep my eye out because these are the kind of habitats you'll see uh, cool looking birds and stuff like that. So, and fortunately, I can see there's been some effects from southern pine beetles here, just like in Hubbard. All right, so this is the path we're going to be following. Hopefully, it stays nice and wide like this. So we don't have to worry about ticks. So the ticks are going to be out in full force. I think we're going to come to a viewpoint here soon. There's another path. Another road. It's pretty when the oaks uh, first get their leaves, man. They're really super green. Really getting some views through the trees here a little bit. I still see some clouds around today too. There weren't supposed to be any, any clouds actually. We're gonna continue to follow this path and there's a car driving on it. I guess this is a road for cars as well. So here's a your first view here of the bay. Good, right. I think we'll have wide paths the whole way. Hmm. Plenty of birds chirping. Feel lucky. Oh yeah. yeah, we're starting to see some, looks like I see a whole bunch of, I don't know if those are swans or egrets. Probably egrets. Yeah, they're egrets, I think. It's too far away to get a picture. You can see the heat is causing the air to shimmer. Hopefully we can see some egrets a little closer than that. All right. There are 
making a left over here because we don't want to walk on a vehicle on a vehicle on a road with cars. So here's the hiking path. Making a left here. Luckily it's plenty wide enough, so. Uh, yeah, it's a little warm out here. Uh, some shapes. Uh, now you, when we get to that this island, you're gonna see a lot of pines when we get on, onto that island. Actually, when we get to the island, it'll be nothing but pines. There's a somewhat better view of things. Somewhat better view. There you go. It's a little bit of a better view. I think there's like a little area that they have that goes right up to the water. A couple of areas. Get to them. Yeah, it's getting warm. Yeah, it'll probably be 70 degrees today. Oh, we're curving away from the water. All right. Well, I'm not gonna go on a dim trail, so let's take on this one. Yeah, we're back on this road again. Just briefly, we're on the road, then we can get off of it again. I don't know why they do that. I don't know the trail going that way. Whatever. Said I haven't been here and in a long time. I don't know how many years it's been. Maybe eight, nine years. Well, there's a piney area over there. I'm not gonna bushwhack through it though. I'd be full of ticks. No way. Yes, I spray myself with the tick spray, but I still don't like exposing myself if I don't have to. I might be able to go left over here. Yeah, all right, good. All right, we'll go back this way. It's kind of away from the water now again. So, I wanna go this way. Man. All right, continuing on. Let's keep it moving. All right, we're getting close to the water now. Should be a sea breeze. Well, it may not be one until a little later in the afternoon. It's only quarter to 12. Yeah, I'm coming up on the water here again. Here's a nice view. Here's a nice view. Now here's a nice view, nicer view of the water here. Yeah, it doesn't smell too nice, actually. Yeah, sometimes you get that smell in the water. Um Oh, I think I see an osprey. That's what I was hoping to see. Way out there, though. All right. Now eventually, we're going to have to take, like, this little causeway. What is this? Uh, somebody, I guess, left a rock here. <laughs> yes, these people do treasure hunts and stuff like that, so... I thought that was trash when I first saw it. I'm like, what's that doing here? But it was, oh, it's somebody left a rock. Painted rocks.
we got some big pines over here. It's a big one right there, actually, too. So, that island you see there in the distance, that's Indian Island right there. So, uh... Oh, ah, don't tell me. Flies! Oh, man. Fly just bothered me. Exactly what I was worried about, those damn flies. Pine flies. And you gotta worry about greenheads, too. You don't want to come here in the middle of the summer because the green hats are terrible. Here's a view. I'm not walking out that far. Uh, so. Here's a view looking out over Peconic Bay. We'll have more views, actually better views than this. Again, you could walk out over there, but I'm not going to do that. There will be a beach we'll be able to actually walk right out on, on Indian Island, so I'm not going to go through that stuff. Well, we'll get back on the trail here. Because this park is named for that island at the end, which is called Indian Island. So we have to walk back a little bit this way to get over to the road that will take us out to the beach. And that is an eastern Tohi. I just saw a blue jay, but <laughs> he was in just the right spot where the camera wouldn't focus, of course. It's amazing how far technology has come, but yet they still can't make a camera that will focus on something properly. If something is like in a tree or in a spot where there's a lot of things in the way, You'd think they would be able to come up with the technology, at least in these cameras, to differentiate what a bird is from all the trees. You'd think they would do that. <laughs> you know, but not yet. Technology is not there yet. <laughs> when you have a bird that stops for a split second, <laughs> hey, at least we got to see that eastern tohi. I mean, I have plenty of photos of blue jays. Wait, we're now on this trail going south. And then we'll be on the Indian Island. This trail will take us to the wider road. That will take us to Indian Island, which is right over there. So. All right, so this is the road right here. Um... This is the road right here. Uh, that, uh, it's a wide road that will take us all the way out to Indian Island. Not sure what kind of bird that is. Anyway, here's the view. Ah, oh, smells terrible over here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, phew. Can't stand here for too long. The smell is like horrible. No, it causes that horrible smell. It's awful. Oh, phew. Hopefully the bait don't smell like that. I think it's just this little marsh area that stinks. Oh, man. get a view of this though. Well, let's try it over here. Yeah. Doesn't smell as bad over here. This is a pretty view here. It's probably from nitrates. This is a big problem on Long Island. See what's with all those clouds over there. It's supposed to be any clouds today. Yeah, you know what it is? We have some dead fish. It's <sighs> probably what the smell's from. There's a vehicle. I don't even think they're allowed to drive over here. It should be closed off. They shouldn't even be driving over here. 
I'm too lazy to walk. Walk 10 minutes over here. Can't park over there. Yeah, here come the beauties though. Bunker. Yeah, this is what happens. What 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 all gonna happen here? I remember coming here once when it was so bad. The smell was horrible. But we had what we had was literally a lot worse than this. Lots and lots of dead fish, and the, the literally you could see. You looked at the at the water, and the, you could see these bunkers, just like like literally just writhing, you know, because the bluefish, which is a predator of the bunker, cornered them and to put them into shallow water. And then they die. And that's, I think, what we're smelling now. Yeah. Though, I remember the time I came here, it was worse. I think that was the last time I was here. So this is a problem here uh, that happens. And I think it happens most often in the spring, which is obviously what I'm right now when I'm here. Is you get these bluefish to come in, predatory fish. And they force the bunker into the shallows. There's not enough oxygen for them. And they die. View. Ooh, look at that later. Just want to get past this area because it's where it smells bad. Ah. Ah, man. Oh man. Yeah, we got lots of these ravens around here. One up ahead. Just drove around. Just driving around here. You can't park here. I don't think you're even allowed to drive over here. I just saw this huge hawk. Oh. Uh, just saw this huge hawk come through. Of course, I didn't get a picture. But yeah, this is the pines here. So let's check out all these great shapes right here in the middle of the island. Oh man. Yeah, you got some really great shapes here. Oh, at least I don't smell that anymore. It's a nice grove of pines right here. This is the spot I wanted to get to. Oh. Yeah. It's a small island, it's not that big. See, it's very piney though. Yeah, this is beautiful here. This is sort of like what we had at Hubbard. Thank God it's still over here. I got this just beautiful grove of pines here. It's nothing but pines. Yep. Really nice picnic area too, and you just got a lot of beauties over here. A lot of beauties. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back up. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Beautiful spot. Let's get a view of the water. Let's first check this out more. Ah, oh, it's amazing. You know, I'm gonna take a break here and uh, some picnic tables and uh, a break. I've been walking for about an hour already. Yeah, it's beautiful grove of pines over here. Absolutely beautiful. So it's needed a break for a couple minutes, so I'll continue on. So we're gonna take a look at the beach here. Yeah, not a lot of wind. Very calm. Not a lot of wind out here. Not like yesterday. We had a nice breeze yesterday. I was hoping to be a nice breeze today, but I think there was later on in the day. So not 
not sure. Get a view of the water here. It's beautiful. We have the pines. They're right on the water. Flew into a buck. A buck flew into me, I should say. Um, some really crazy shapes here. You're not allowed to take your vehicle over here. It's ridiculous. It should not be allowed. Not much of a beach left over here. Yeah. There's something. Yeah, there's the view. That's looking across the Peconic Bay right there. this way because that's back toward the smelly fish area so let's uh let's walk through the grove here then we'll go on to the beach i just want to enjoy this pine grove just for a little longer and then we'll go to the beach okay let's go to the beach now such a beautiful area. Okay, let's go to the beach. It's easy to just, you know, get stuck looking at these great shapes. Let's get down to the beach. Beautiful view. Yeah, the water is so still. So calm. Not a breath of air here. And it is hot. There you go. Get this one more time. I thought I saw a uh, bluebird there, or some kind of bird. Anyway, let's get up and out of here. It is hot here. Oh my God, we gotta get out of here. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. 
I'm gonna head on out of here. I'm starting to get exhausted. So let me, uh, it's getting a little warm. And we've got a lot of these clouds popping up. At least it'll block the sun, so it'll help cool things off a little bit. It's not a lot of wind out here. Very still. It's a miracle that we haven't had too many greenhead flies. Ranger. And I guess the cars are allowed to park here, I guess. All right. Anyway, let's walk past the smelly area very quickly. I don't want to go to that beach though, so let's let's go to this beach over here. Actually, I can walk along this beach and then we can go out over there. It's out of the view. I have a cool area over here. More clouds in the mix now. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, this is another view. This beach is actually nice. So we got some turns. This beach is beautiful. A whole bunch of pines over there. Forgot how beautiful this beach was here yeah, for a while. And I believe that is a least turn. Yeah, it sends it under a cloud. Got these alto cumulus clouds. Cute. Aren't these little birds cute? I think they're turns. Yeah, I think that's a couple right there. Give them their privacy. And let's get over to these shapes. That's really nice. This this beach is beautiful. I forgot how beautiful it is here. <laughs> let's check out these shapes. Ah, yes. Let's see some shapes. Yeah, sugar sands. Yeah, very desert-like. Very desert-like.
We have some of these pretty flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers these are. Quite pretty though. Okay, now we will be heading out. Gee, I made like I made like a little bit of a circle about kind of where I was. But we're going to be taking this path out, and we're going to be coming out on Highway Route 105, and then I'm going to make a left on Route 105, and we should be able to catch the bus over there. sun <laughs> okay so we are going this way now um, straight this way we're not making a right going this way straight I wonder if there's a sea breeze on the south shore. We're not. Got some beauties here. Yeah, I got some old pitch pines here too. I think I know what direction I'm heading in. We'll see if I'm right. should be heading toward Route 105, and that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. I have about maybe a 20 to 30 minute walk, I think, no more than that, to get over to Route 24 and get the bus. That's all. I'm pretty sure I walked past a sign that said, do not enter for the vehicles, so... That guy's going the wrong way. So I think it's a one way. All right, it's looking back where we came from. This is where we're going. All right, we gotta figure out where I'm, oh, I see the road over there. Okay, so the question is, do I go that way or do I go that way? We're on the main road through the park now. So that was the campground area. And he's still got a couple of pitch pines around. He's a beauty right here. Coming up. <sighs> All right. Almost out. Almost out. It's beautiful when the oaks like turn green like this. Yeah, those oaks really turn really bright green. Yeah, the green is incredible. When these oaks first change, I'm telling you, we do have a flowering dogwood tree up ahead. It's this tree right here. This tree with the white, with the white flowers. It's an old truck right there, but it's the tree right there. It's a flowering dogwood. I think just better off going the way, like leaving the way I came, actually, instead of making a left, because I'm closer, I think, to the north side. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we are gonna go this way, right? I'm gonna take this path out. But I think when I get out on the road, 
I'm just gonna take the road straight up. It's a highway, but I'll have to walk along it. It's just the quickest way back. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just somebody who does not like backtracking. It's just like in nature. I just like not. I don't like backtracking. I like going a different way when I leave than when I come in. That is the exit right there. So from there, I will just make a right. And we'll be racking, wrapping up this video. So these are, this is like the park office, I guess, over here. Probably have some nice maps in there and stuff, but you know the deal. If I got to go in there, I got to put the mask on. I honestly don't feel like putting it on until I have to get on the bus. So, so I think that wraps it up. From here to Indian Island County Park uh, is the entrance right there. And uh, this is a popular place. This is a great place to do camping, too. So they have camping. Looks like they have plenty of spots available. So. Oh, we got prickly pear cactus. He put that here. That's very good. See, we got prickly pear. That's the sign. And prickly pear. Right there. It's a cactus. You see that a lot in Jersey, but we have it here too on Long Island. But anyway, I guess we'll wrap it up right here, so remember what it's all about. Yeah, there's one in there. <laughs> it's all about those great shapes.